Tuesday, January 9th, 8.10 p.m. Mountain Time, 2018. We were just talking about this area a couple hours ago and how we're seeing water anomalies along the coast of Ecuador, the coast of Florida, on the Gulf side, and we were discussing the possibility that the water might be trying to tell us something. And I think we are beginning to see what the water is trying to tell us. There could be some subduction going on underneath the Caribbean plate that is right in the middle of both of these events that happened on January 3rd, 2,000 miles apart, that just split the difference at the 1,000 mile mark. That was a 7.8, a fairly shallow 7.8 earthquake. Um, more than likely, there will be a tsunami more than likely in the Honduras area. It's difficult to say at this point because it's still fairly new. The buoys haven't picked it up yet. Um, I'm sure they will. That was a very large, powerful earthquake, and I'm going to show you something on the seismographs that tell me that was very strong, and this could possibly be upgraded. This was a strong quake, guys, and I think the Caribbean plate is doing a major move. Okay, let me re refresh this real quick. All right, you can see those are instant black, and, and they're tall, they're strong. That's going to be probably upgraded from a 7.8. It wouldn't surprise me, but again, it's too early to tell. Very strong earthquake near Honduras, 7.8. I think it's been downgraded initially to a 7.6, but I think as the data continues to come in, that might be upgraded uh, higher than a 7.8. But we'll have to wait and see. But it's no coincidence, guys, that that was right in the middle of these two water anomalies. And I, I just heard that the uh, Baja over here, the California Baja, drained or water retreated on January 3rd as well. But this area right here is an area we're keeping a very close eye on. Right in here was a mini tsunami the other day. Seeing all kinds of water movement in this area, and it's trying to tell us something that's going on. And like I emphasized before, when that water disappears like that, there is a very strong force at work that um, is moving that water, because that water is very, very heavy. And the only thing strong enough to do that is the Earth itself, or an outside force, something equally as strong as the Earth. So more than likely, the Caribbean plate, is making a major move or has made a major move and um, we're seeing earthquakes now water anomalies along the coast and we'll probably see more water anomalies along the coast as time progresses forward thanks for watching guys and as always be safe out there and i will keep you updated as time moves forward but that is right in the middle of the area that we've been uh, paying attention to thanks for watching talk to you soon